he appeared to mock a reporter with a disability. Take a look. Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Ah, oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I, oh, maybe that's what I said. That reporter he is talking about is Serge Kovaleski, who now works for the New York Times. As you can see right there, he suffers from a chronic condition that impairs movement of his arms. named Trevor Harris has Tourette syndrome. It's a neurological disorder that causes uncontrollable movements and outbursts called tics. Here again is Joanna Goldman to show us how Trevor is using his tics to teach. We started like naming up my tics, like we call this the rock star, and this one's like called the Gene Simmons. <laughs> Trevor Harris rarely makes these faces because he wants to. The seventh grader suffers from Tourette syndrome. Ah! That'd be tough for any 12-year-old, but it's especially tough when you're a military kid who moves a lot. Last year's transfer took him away from his friends in Tennessee and forced him to start over in a new school in Virginia. When I was down there, kids understood my threats and everything, but I come up here, <clears throat> no one understands me. In my first day, I got flipped off at least 15 times. At school? Yes. From kids? Yeah. There were tears, but Trevor, who is among the 138,000 American kids living with the disease, decided he wasn't going to hide behind his tics. I have Tourette's syndrome. He and his school officials decided to educate his peers with an anti-bullying PSA. A tic is not like an insect tic. It's actually where you scream, ah! make faces, or click your teeth. If it's uncomfortable to listen to, Trevor's dad Jeremy says that's the point. And he, he's realized the more that the more kids that he knows that understand because he's talked to them and explained it to them, that then it's easier to get along with folks rather than trying to hide it. Trevor can often be found solving one of the many Rubik's cubes he owns. It's one of the ways he tries to keep his ticks at bay. How have you noticed, Trevor, a change in the students at school since you launched the PSA? Well, it's it's been a major difference, but there's still some kids that, that don't understand. He's determined to change that. Everybody has a different flaw, and <clears throat> it's just, why won't you accept me for me? As Trevor says, ignore the tick, but don't ignore me. Juliana Goldman, CBS News, Arlington, Virginia. Trevor, you made it impossible for us to ignore you. We should also note that this is Tourette Syndrome Awareness Month and no better way to bring awareness than by telling Trevor's inspiring story. Well, still ahead on the CBS Weekend News, the